Babies born with teeth. What causes natal teeth? Babies born with teeth, also known as natal teeth, are a rare phenomenon that can occur in newborns. Natal teeth are teeth that are already present in the infant's mouth at the time of birth or erupt within the first month of life. While most babies start teething around six months of age, natal teeth can appear much earlier. The exact prevalence of natal teeth is not well documented, but they are estimated to occur in approximately 1 in 2,000 to 3,000 births. Natal teeth are more commonly observed in the lower front region of the mouth, lower incisors, but they can also occur in other areas. The presence of natal teeth has been documented throughout history, with references dating back to ancient times. In various cultures and societies, natal teeth have been associated with both positive and negative beliefs and superstitions. Some cultures view them as a sign of good luck or prosperity, while others consider them to be bad omen or associated with supernatural powers. From a medical perspective, natal teeth are regarded as a developmental anomaly. They are different from the normal process of tooth eruption, which typically begins around the age of six months. Natal teeth can emerge prematurely, causing concern for parents due to their potential impact on breastfeeding. The risk of injury to the infant's tongue or lip, and the potential association with underlying medical conditions or syndromes. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this, and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Please be aware that everything discussed in this video is unbiased, verified with facts, and approved by licensed healthcare specialists before we proceed. In light of that, let's continue. The presence of natal teeth can be a surprise for parents and healthcare providers. It is important to note that natal teeth are not the same as neonatal teeth, which are teeth that erupt within the first 30 days of life but were not present at birth. The management of natal teeth depends on the individual case. Factors such as the stability and health of the teeth, their impact on feeding and oral health, and the presence of any associated medical conditions are taken into consideration. In some cases, natal teeth may need to be extracted to prevent complications or ensure the infant's well-being. Extraction is typically performed by a pediatric dentist or oral surgeon using appropriate anesthesia techniques to ensure the safety and comfort of the infant. Now let's talk about what causes natal teeth. Genetic factors. Natal teeth, which are teeth present at birth or erupting within the first month of life, can sometimes be associated with genetic factors. Certain genetic conditions and syndromes, such as Ellis Van Creveld syndrome, Pierre Robin syndrome, and Hollerman Strife syndrome, can contribute to the occurrence of natal teeth. Specific genetic mutations or variations may also play a role, although further research is needed to fully understand their involvement. It is important to remember that natal teeth have a multifactorial etiology, and other factors such as environmental influences and abnormalities in the dental lamina can contribute as well. If your child has natal teeth or a family history of natal teeth, it is advisable to consult with a pediatric dentist or geneticist for proper evaluation and guidance. Environmental factors. Environmental factors can potentially play a role in the occurrence of natal teeth. These factors include maternal medications, exposure to toxins, maternal infections during pregnancy, and nutritional deficiencies. However, the precise impact of these environmental factors on natal teeth is not fully understood and requires further investigation. It is important to note that natal teeth are relatively uncommon, and most cases occur without any clearly identifiable environmental influences. Hormonal influences. Hormonal imbalances during pregnancy have been proposed as possible contributors to natal teeth. Fluctuations in hormone levels, particularly those affecting both the mother and the fetus, could potentially influence the normal development and eruption timing of teeth. Dental lamina abnormalities. Dental lamina abnormalities have been identified as a potential factor in the occurrence of natal teeth. The dental lamina is a band of specialized cells that gives rise to tooth development. When there are abnormalities or disruptions in the dental lamina, it can lead to the premature eruption of teeth. These abnormalities can involve the persistence of the dental lamina or changes in its growth and development. However, the specific causes and mechanisms of dental lamina abnormalities leading to natal teeth are still not fully understood and require further research. Hyperplasia or enhanced growth. Natal teeth can arise from localized hyperplasia, which involves abnormal or excessive growth of the dental lamina or surrounding tissues. 
This enhanced growth can cause the teeth to emerge earlier than expected. It is important to note that hyperplasia or enhanced growth is just one of the factors that can contribute to natal teeth. Other factors, such as genetic factors, environmental influences, hormonal imbalances, and dental lamina abnormalities, may also play a role in their occurrence. If your child has natal teeth or if you suspect hyperplasia or enhanced growth, it is recommended to consult with a pediatric dentist or healthcare professional for a comprehensive evaluation. They can assess the specific situation and provide appropriate guidance and management options based on the findings. It is important for healthcare providers to approach natal teeth in a sensitive and supportive manner, addressing parental concerns and providing information about the condition. Educating parents about proper oral hygiene and monitoring the growth and development of the child's teeth are essential to maintain optimal oral health. Research continues to shed light on the causes and underlying mechanisms of natal teeth, but many aspects of this phenomenon remain unclear. Further studies are needed to explore the genetic, environmental, and developmental factors involved in the occurrence of natal teeth, as well as their potential associations with other medical conditions. The health of the mother during pregnancy can influence the baby's development. It's important for pregnant women to maintain good overall health, including oral health. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can affect the gums, making them more prone to inflammation and infection. Poor oral hygiene and gum diseases have been associated with an increased risk of premature births and low birth weights. Therefore, pregnant women should practice good oral hygiene by brushing their teeth at least twice a day. With fluoride toothpaste, flossing daily, and visiting the dentist for regular checkups. Also, keep in mind that natal teeth are usually not a cause for major concern, and they can be managed effectively with proper care and guidance. Each baby is unique and healthcare professionals will provide tailored recommendations based on your baby's specific needs and circumstances. In conclusion, babies born with teeth, or natal teeth, is a rare occurrence that can present challenges and concerns for parents and healthcare providers. Understanding the characteristics, management options, and potential implications associated with natal teeth can help ensure appropriate care and support for affected infants. Further research is needed to fully comprehend the underlying causes and mechanisms of natal teeth and their potential associations with other medical conditions. As always, we care about your health. If you enjoyed watching Vital Health TV and learned something from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.